Hi everyone, so I'm going to be doing a short series on quick tips for Embrilliance Essentials. So there are several questions that I get seen or I actually get asked over and over again. So I decided that I'd just do a few little videos just to kind of break them down into little individual chunks if you like. So the first one I'm going to be doing today is how to rotate your hoop. Now before I start I have opened Embrilliance Essentials and the first thing I want to point out is if you go to the top of your page whilst you're in Embrilliance and go to view and just make sure that you've got the same settings that I've got so scroll down to manage views and under manage views make sure you've got object view properties view and status bar view all ticked if you've not just click them and that will put the tick mark against them and then down here under where it says metric make sure you've got ticks next to um, these sections here that way if you've got all those options the same as me you should see the same view when you open your Embrilliance Essentials. So as I said, today's quick tip video is going to be about how to rotate the hoop. So the first thing I want to point out is that I have my Embrilliance Essentials hoop set to open at my 8x12 hoop, which is the biggest hoop I have at the moment for my brother V5 LE. And the file format I use for my brother machine is PES. So if you come up to the yellow folder here, which is like your properties box, and it will bring this box up. Now these may or may not show up here. It may, yours may look, let me just close them all down. So yours may look something like this. The first thing I want to point out is the default color for the background for Embrilliance Essentials is yellow. I didn't like that, I've changed mine to white. And when you open this properties box, this is where you will change it. You'll see here it says background and there's a color swatch and yours will probably be yellow. If you just left click on that color swatch, it will open up your color swatches. Now mine show as colored pencils and that's just a Mac thing. Yours, if you're on Windows, may look different, but you should still get some kind of colour box or colour wheel where you can choose. I just chose white. <coughs> Once you've changed the colour, you need to come to the bottom and click Apply and OK. Otherwise, if you don't, when you close Embrilliance Essentials down and then you reopen it, it will just default back to the yellow background. The other thing while we're here, I just want to point out that I have my grid lines set to lines. Again, if you want dots, you select dots, you click apply and OK, and then you get these little dots. I'm just going to change mine back to lines, and that's under grid settings, under hoops, under environment. So I'm going to go back to lines, apply and OK. And then finally, just while we're in here, under environment and hoops and grid settings, I work in inches. As you can see up here, I have the inches selected. If you want to work in millimetres, you just put um, left click in this box and it will change your grid to millimetres. <coughs> but I work in inches and I have my grid boxes set to one inch in the horizontal and the vertical. So that's the basic settings that I have got in Embrilliance Essentials. So now I'm going to select Hoops. My default setting is PES. If you use a different format, if you have a Genome machine, you, you choose JEF. That's your format or whatever format suits you. But again, whichever one you choose, select it, make sure you click Apply. Now, again, automatically, as I said, I have my hoop set to 8 by 12, which is 200 by 300. So I'm just going to click apply and say OK. And that, again, will show you the size down here. 7 
and 7 eighths by 11 and 13 sixteenths, which is basically an 8 by 12 hoop. So sometimes you bring a design on and your design is horizontal, but your hoop is vertical. So how do you change it? Well, there are two ways to do it. Again, you can come back to your properties box under environment, just click on the downward facing arrow or you may have a plus. I'm not sure sometimes it can be different on Windows, but whichever way it is, you want to open the environment box and you want to come to your hoops. Find your hoop size for your file format. So whichever file format you choose, your hoop size should be in here. So my eight by 12, which is the hoop I use the most, is the one that I have selected and I will have, I you know, I click apply. Now, if you want to rotate it, so it's horizontal rather than vertical, you can put a, a left click in the box here that says rotate and apply and okay, and that will rotate it. Or I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna untick apply, at, I'm going to untick rotate 90 degrees, click apply and say okay. And the other way to do it, which is even easier, is to come down to the size where it says hoop at the bottom and left double click, and that will automatically rotate it for you. And if you want to change it back, once you've created your file and you want to send it over to your, you know, onto a USB, you want to put it onto a USB stick and send it over to your machine. Before you save your file, you can just double click and rotate it back. Then you would come up to file, save stitch file as, save your file, give it a name, put it onto a USB stick and, and then put that in your sewing machine. So that's today's quick tip video on how to rotate your hoop. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.